I think it's pretty easy to put together that I love cartoons. I mean, I'm a cartoon avatar, this is a cartoon channel, and my Halloween video is just me recommending cartoons for people to watch. Now, I'm out of the age range that people would consider watching cartoons normal. That's right, despite my somewhat high voice, I am an adult. And although a plethora of adult cartoon lovers have been more vocal than ever, it can still be hard to find other adults who appreciate and watch cartoons outside of South Park and Family Guy. That's why I, as an adult, wanted to articulate why I still watch all kinds of cartoons to people who may view it as childish or weird. Now, like many other people, I grew up watching cartoons like Spongebob, Looney Tunes, and Phineas and Ferb. And although there were other shows on Nickelodeon and Disney Channel that were live action and usually in the sitcom format, I was always drawn to the drawn shows. <laughs> drawn. <clears throat> because unlike the live action, these shows could take me anywhere and everywhere. The characters could get into impossible mischief and do incredible things that live action shows couldn't replicate without obliterating their budget. Now, I consider myself a very creative person, and I think falling in love with the shows that brought 2D characters to life and created stories that could only be done in the world that the show had created helped me to look at the world in a more colorful way. Now, as I've gotten older, I've expanded my reach to more mature shows, live action and cartoon. And although these shows are great, and I love seeing shows that are targeted for people like me, a young adult just trying to figure out his life, I still find myself looking back to places like Cartoon Network and Disney to put out the next show that I can get addicted to. Now even though, based off these networks' needs, most of the shows are targeted for more younger kids, they're still able to take my breath away and help immerse me into another world. Now sometimes seeing very basic lessons taught in these shows that I've been taught a million times feels corny, but you know what? In a world with so much wrong with it, and so much hate, and watching the news can make me depressed and question humanity after five Frickin minutes, sometimes having a reminder on what good looks like can be just what I need. And although it may not be as easy to see, most of these shows do put more serious themes over long periods of episodes or in the background for people like me to enjoy. And I'm sure that there are a ton of youngsters that enjoy those more mature themes too. Kids aren't stupid, they can pick up on that stuff. Along with getting older, I've also started to learn more about the industry of animation, and knowing how much is put into these projects makes me love them a hundred times more. There's so much work, time, energy, imagination, and love put into every piece of animation produced. And when I see a show or movie that goes above and beyond to entertain, teach, and immerse the audience into a new universe, I feel so much pride for the people that were able to put their project out into the world. And I just have to say to all the people watching, although I said that it may be out of the ordinary for people like me to watch cartoons, I want everyone to know that Animation is not just for kids. Quality animation should be made for everyone. Kids, teens, young adults, adults, and for the elderly. Animation is not a genre, it's a medium of storytelling. If I want any of you to take away something from this video, it's this. Adults, and other people getting up there in age, Give cartoons a chance, even the ones that may seem a little kid-like, because behind all of these cartoons is a passionate worker just trying to put their creativity out into the world, and trying to live off of it. And to all the youngsters who are still enjoying cartoons, keep watching them. Take it from a 20-year-old on the internet. You don't need to be a certain age to enjoy the entertainment that you love. Anyways, before you leave, please don't leave yet. I wanted to quickly name off some cartoons that I would recommend deserve a watch. Alright, this is going to be kind of a quick rapid fire. <clears throat> Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, Amphibia, The Owl House, Regular Show, Murder Drones, Bluey, Adventure Time, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Teen Titans, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, Over the Garden Wall, Star vs. the Forces of Evil, The Dragon Prince, Hilda, Oddballs, Older Simpson Episodes, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, Lack of Daisy, Phineas and Ferb, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi, Shira, Primal, Infinity Train, and Close Enough, even though those aren't really available right now, <clears throat> HBO Max, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, BoJack Horseman, Avatar The Last Airbender, and of course, The Amazing World of Gumball. I'm sure I missed a few good shows, and there are still some great shows that are going to be coming out, so be on the lookout for those. And be sure to give original ideas a chance, as taking risks is not something we get to see a lot nowadays on TV. Thank you so much for watching. Cheerio. Hey, you made it to the end of the video! If you haven't already, go ahead and check out some of my other videos, and if you like what you see, 
consider subscribing. And also, I will be putting some YouTube channels that are my fellow animation lovers below in the description, so be sure to go check those out if you can. And, uh, yeah, be sure to use the Caesar Cipher. Okay, bye!